Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing TikTok inspired DIYs in the boho decor style. So I am like a total TikTok lurker. I don't actually make videos on there, but I love to watch them. And I always find really cool DIY videos. Some of them are things that have gone viral, but I also have some that I've saved that didn't get a ton of views on there for some reason, but I thought they were really cool. So I'm going to recreate them today on my channel and put my own little twist on them. But of course I will link all of the original videos down below so you guys can check out my original inspiration and see the creators who made them. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. For this first DIY, you'll need the inner ring of an embroidery hoop, as well as something round that's the same exact size as the hoop for your base. I'm using cork, but in the original, she used a wood circle from the craft store. I didn't have that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the cork. And I'm also using some six inch dowel rods. I started off by gluing one of the dowels using hot glue to my embroidery hoop and then I flipped it over and I added one more. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and attach this to my base by just adding a little bit of hot glue to the bottoms of the dowels and adding it to the ring. I'm doing this because it's going to keep it stable so now I can go ahead and add in the others and not have to worry about it falling over or anything like that. At this point I realized I wanted to paint the hoop because I didn't like that the colors between the base and the hoop were mismatched. If you do get an embroidery ring and a wood craft circle, they're probably going to be the same color, but because I'm using mismatched materials, I wanted to keep it uniform. So I just gave it a couple coats of white acrylic paint. And I did this on the bottom as well. I just did the outer edge because that's the only part you're going to be able to see once this is all done. So once it was dry, then it was time to add in the rest of my dowels and you're going to want to keep them evenly spaced. So I found that it was easiest to glue the bottom of the dowel on first and then the top, that just worked well for me. And you just want to eyeball it and make sure that you're not leaving big spaces in between some and little spaces in between the others. But if you do mess up, it's not a big deal because it's just hot glue so you can easily pull them off if you need to. I had to do that a couple of times. But the main point is you're just wanting to try to make it as close as possible Possible, make sure they're not slanting one direction or the other and that is the whole process for the majority of this project it took me about 30 minutes to get through all of this and I think it's looking really cool as a last step I wanted to add some feet so I have these wood knobs and I got these in a big pack so I'll link them down below but I added five of them because since this cork is not as sturdy I wanted to reinforce it a little bit by adding a few extra and I just glued them right on and that completes this DIY. All I have to do is add in my plant. I think it looks so good. Such a simple project, but I really love the boho aesthetic and I think it's going to be really fun to style around my house. If you've ever been on TikTok at all in the past year, you've probably seen the viral moon mirror. So I'm gonna try that out today. I have a small mirror and some joint compound, and I'm just gonna take some of this and smear it around the mirror. Basically, you wanna create a moon shape. So I'm just using a paintbrush to apply it, and then I took a paper towel, you can use any sort of little cloth, to kind of shape the compound into the moon shape on your mirror. Once you're happy with that, then it's time to move on and add the texture. So I went in with this dry paintbrush and wanted to create essentially a little crater. So I just pushed it down in one spot to create sort of a crater shape. And then I went around on the rest of it and just blotted it with a paper towel just to add some interesting texture to it. You can really play around with this and always, of course, you can add more joint compound if you need it, if it's not looking right to you. And it's really fun to just kind of make different patterns in it. I let it dry overnight and I think it's looking really cool, but I also wanted to add a little bit of paint just to give it some more interest. So I mixed together some gray acrylic paint with some white and just a little bit of pink for kind of a nice pink undertone to it. And then I went ahead and painted right over the joint compound. And again, you can choose any color that you want. I was tempted to go bold here and make it some really unique color that wouldn't be the color of the moon, but I decided to go with just gray. But I think it would be really cool to experiment with different fun colors. If you do get paint on the mirror, it's not a big deal. It easily wipes off with a wet cloth because I did that. So I just went ahead and cleaned that off. And this is what it's looking like now. As a last step, I had this really 
fine glitter. So I decided to sprinkle a little bit on there. It's gonna be really subtle, but you will be able to see it in the light. And I am so happy with how this one turned out. I think this is such a fun project. This last one is by far the easiest, so you'll need some sort of jar. This was a salsa jar that I took the label off of and washed out. And then you'll also need these bamboo sushi mats. So all you're gonna do is roll this out and then literally just glue it to your jar or glass vase, whatever you're using. So I just rolled it around my jar and used some hot glue to adhere it to the jar. Now it was a little bit short, so I went ahead and cut some of the other mat out, which was really easy. So I just went in with my scissors and cut a few extra pieces of the mat and glued them on to fill in this empty space. I love the concept of this DIY because with the sushi mat, you can just glue everything on all at once instead of gluing little pieces on one by one. It's literally such a fast, quick, and easy project, but it looks really stylish. It's going to be really fun to add different dried florals to this or maybe some eucalyptus and just play around with it. I thought it might be fun to make a little smaller companion piece. So I had this little vase and I decided to just cut out a smaller section of the bamboo mat. So again, you can use your scissors to cut off any of the excess that you need to. It cuts pretty easily. And then as a last step, instead of having them be perfectly matching, I mixed together some green and white paint and painted the mat first before I glued it onto the vase. I love this color combination. I think it looks so cool, especially when you style it with dried flowers. Just the color contrast is really neat. So once that was totally dry, then I went ahead and glued it right onto my vase like I did the other one. This one fit perfectly. In fact, there was a little overlap, but instead of cutting it this time, I just glued the second side of the mat over itself. And then I added in my flowers and styled it up. And these are so cool. This is such an inexpensive project. I'll link the mats down below, but I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I think it looks really chic. And honestly, who would ever guess that you made these from some bamboo sushi mats? So what did you guys think? As always, you know the drill. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these projects was your favorite. And like I said, I will link the originals in the description box. But if you do try any of them out, make sure you tag me on Instagram. And if you don't wanna miss any of my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got a new episode of my video series, Can I Hack It? where I do Ikea hacks to recreate trendy home decor coming out really soon and this is going to be an anthropology themed video. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.